This one is difficult. This one's proper difficult. <laughs> tech support here today i'll be going through the chopin etudes opus 10 ranked by difficulty so as you can see here i have my list of categories all the way uh, from elite all the way down to painless and i'll be going through the etudes that i have played so i've played the opus 10 and i will tell you what i think are the um, right categories in terms of difficulty and i'm only talking about uh, technical difficulty here so not really mu in a musical sense but purely in a technical sense okay so let's get right into it what we uh, what do we have first okay we have the number four the torrent and so where would i put this one well it's definitely a hard attitude i'm i'm not sure i would put it in elite even though it has a couple of combined challenges combined uh, technical aspects I feel like putting it in hard is uh, probably fair because we want to keep elite really I mean really for the elite etudes even though it's a very difficult uh, etude uh, doesn't I don't want to put it in a lower category so hard I think is the right place for the opus 10 number four and then let's continue what do we have here okay this looks like uh, it's the seventh etude Seventh Etude is a bit of a weird one because I have heard people say it is um, the most challenging Etude there is. I think there's even a quote by, who was it? It's uh, either Rubinstein or, or Horowitz said that. I might, if you see a quote on your screen now, I probably figured out who said that. But it is a weird one for me personally. I don't feel like it's that demanding. It's a bit awkward for sure, but not that um demanding as for example opus 10 number four so i will put it in the demanding um category now let's have a look at the next piece which is the number six so in a musical sense this is very challenging but since we're only looking at technique here this is a relatively painless attitude i mean you can learn it quite easily and probably even side read it to a great extent it doesn't really challenge uh, technique other than maybe the legato but compared to other pieces on this list and other etudes it's really painless so i will put it in the painless category then we have opus 10 number one right i mean that's going straight into the elite section uh it's probably one of the hardest etudes of the whole set i mean also opus 25 including opus 25 this is going to be one of the hardest etudes there is um, no question about it it's an elite etude to play it accurately and with enough power and enough um, interesting ideas and etc is just a huge task um, so yeah opus 10 one elite no question about it okay then we have the Black Keys Etude this is a bit of a weird one because it is relatively easy. The one thing that makes it more difficult is probably the tempo, but you can solve almost all of it with rotation, like wrist rotation. And since it's all black keys, it makes it actually easier. Uh, and please don't send any memes about the <laughs> turning the black keys into white keys because I've seen it a hundred times and I'm still annoyed that uh, that meme even existed or that the people decided to make that a thing so I don't want to see <laughs> any turning black keys into white keys so yeah the 10.5 is probably advanced not not more than that okay then we have what is this ah this is opus 10 number 3 opus 10 number 3 is a similar you could you could put it similar to the number six but it actually challenges you more in a technical sense both from the legato and from the you know the difficult uh coda or whatever you want to call it um on the third page so 
it's I'm putting it in advance. It's not a painless etude. Then we have Opus 10 number 8. Okay, this is the uh, the famous, uh, some people call it Sunshine, I think. Uh, there's all these names that I don't use, but yeah, I think people call it Sunshine. Anyways, Opus 10 number 8, very hard piece, putting it in the hard category. Uh, probably a bit easier than 10-4, or actually harder. Actually, it might be, yeah, it might be harder than 10-4. Than it's not elite for me, but quite hard, quite hard. You got all these scales combined with arpeggios, and, you know, it's tricky, and there is a section somewhere on the third, fourth page that's quite tricky. Um, yeah, definitely a big, big technical challenge. Uh, especially with the tempo then we have 10 9 and that one is probably the easiest etude out of all of them i feel like 10 9 i would put in the painless category you can again learn it very quickly without any well without any pain but also it's just a nice piece to play and uh, simple to learn so 10 9 is probably the easiest piece there is here okay then we have the revolutionary etude 10 12 where should we put this one well it's going to be in the hard section and it's probably going to be more towards the bottom of the hard almost going to demanding because while it is a difficult piece it is certainly not on the level of 10 4 and 10 8 so I would put it on the, the lower spectrum of the hard uh, category. Okay, then we have, okay, Opus 10 number 2. And that is, of course, going into the elite category. I always think, which one is more difficult, Opus 10 1 or 10 2? Well, from my experience, playing 10 1 and 10 2, I could not play 10 2 in a completely cold setting so let's say i have no time to warm up and i go somewhere and i have to play the etude immediately i could not play 10 2. i could play 10 1 uh, even though not brilliantly in the cold setting but i have tried uh i've tried 10 1 many times in cold setting and 10 2 uh just um for for fun i've tried in a cold setting and i know it doesn't work for me that well so personally, I think 10-2 is even harder than 10-1 because of this one aspect. Of course, as you know, uh, chromatic lines with 4th and 5th finger, uh, how to not get uh, cramps, etc. And uh, you can check out my videos, by the way, on the etudes. I cover many of these pieces in my videos and you can get some uh, tips also for, uh, by the way, for 10-1 and 10-2. So you can look at those. Then we have 10, 10. And this one, this one is difficult. This one's proper difficult. Probably, um, I would put it uh, probably here. So harder than 10, 4. Uh, easier than 10, 8, I would say. Yeah, that's probably right. It's, uh, it's a tough, uh, tough piece to crack and you have these different articulations going on and also the same pattern for uh for a long time uh yeah i think this uh, this is a, a the right spot for that etude and then finally 10 11. Uh, this one's a bit of a weird one again i guess similar to 10 7 because you got all these chords that you need to play you need to remember the exact position of the chords you know you need to um, roll them, but it is easier than it is on this category. But it's just awkward. <laughs> I guess um, either you can play it uh, really well and quite easily, I guess, especially if you have a bigger hand. So if you have a bigger than average hand, then it makes it so much easier, right? So uh, this etude is kind of hovering between uh, demanding and hard depending on if you have a, uh, a big hand or not because uh, playing all these chords 
is going to be a lot easier if you can just put your hand uh, down there and play them. Okay, so that's the list of etudes. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think this is a fair assessment of having played all these pieces and trying to, you know, fit them in a category. And this is just a purely on technical uh, difficulty, so no uh, musicality or anything like that, which is also a different kind of difficulty, I understand, but uh, most people want to know in terms of technical challenge what is uh, what are the most uh, demanding pieces. Um, so yeah, this is the tier list I would uh, I have come up with and how I would rank these pieces. And if you like this list, uh, let me know and I can also do one for Opus 25 or other Chopin pieces or, you know, just other pieces in general. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you want a lesson or a review, check out my Patreon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.